What is the best men's wallet? I've come to the conclusion it's the flip side. When I first started using wallets, I had these, you know, a traditional one where it's kind of big. You could put lots of credit cards and pictures and receipts and put some cash in here. But the problem is uh, it's just too big. It's wide and it's tall and it's thick and it takes up a lot of space in your pant pockets. And so it's just, it's too big for me. I tried to minimize the things that I have in my wallet and, and that was just too big. So I tried the smaller one and this worked out pretty well. It's got uh, room for six credit cards and you can put some cash in here but uh, uh, the problem with this one is that it was just a little too insecure if you were to drop this the cash would all fall out and it's just uh, that's just too much of a problem then when I saw the Illuma wallet advertised on TV it looked pretty neat, pretty neat um, seemed like a good solution it had all the compartments that I wanted for credit cards um, but what I didn't realize is that it doesn't have any way to carry cash. You can't put cash in there at all. It just doesn't fit. And I also found out it's very insecure. If you drop it, I've dropped it a couple of times and everything just flew out all over the floor and uh, very problematic. Um, then for Christmas, I got this uh, flip side and this is awesome. It does everything I want it to do. You can put uh, up to seven credit cards in here plus cash. It locks securely. You can drop it and it will not open. Uh, it is also in the main compartment it offers RFID protection. So if you have cards that have RFIDs in them, it will protect it from uh, that signal getting out. So let's look at the Luma wallet and put some credit cards in here. So here's, um, let me put in seven credit cards. Okay, so I got seven credit cards in there, which is, it, it's fine, it all fits and it closes securely. Now, let's try to put some cash in there. Well, I got this big wad of cash here and there's just, there's just no way to stick it in there. I put it in there that way, it doesn't work. Well, if I, what if I fold it over? Well, if I fold it over, you know, if it's got this big wad of cash, I mean, in theory it might fit, but you try, you have seven credit cards in there, you put that cash in there and just try to close it and it just, it won't it won't stay closed um, okay there I got it to close but you can see it was really a problem to get it to close and you, you drop that and it's just gonna pop right open and everything's gonna fly out so let's look at the flip side so I'm gonna take all these credit cards out of here and I'll put them in the flip side so the way you open it, it's got this little latch you pull back on it with your thumb it flips open. You can put three cards here, three cards here, one more card here, and then a, a clip for cash. So let's put some of these cards in here. It's one, two, oops, three, four, five, six. And I thought I had another one. There it is seven. Now let's look at the cash. So I've got, see how many bills I have here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine bills, which not even, not even one bill would fit in the, the Luma Wada. I just flip, put these into the flip side like that, close it up. It's nice and secure. Um, and so Comparing the size, the flip side is um, is about the same thickness as the Illuma wallet, um, and it's about the same height, and it's about the same uh, length. It's actually, yeah, they're pretty much pretty much the same form factor. But uh, you can put more in the Illuma wallet, and it's more secure, and uh, it will not open, and it provides RFID protection. So. Uh, flip side is my choice for the best men's wallet. So here's the test with the Illuma wallet. You can see that when you drop it, everything just flies out of the wallet. Here's the drop test with the flip side. Stays nice and secure, doesn't pop open.